Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. Double honors to the old apostles, great millstone, rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the men of the Lord, bringing out this word in truth, all right, and enduring it to the end that we may be saved, okay? And um, this is going to be a quick sit down, all right? I got a lot I want to touch on in this. Um, and this sit down, so I want to be quick. I want to be quick with it because it's a lot I want to cover. Okay. Um, first, I want to cover because it's a wait. Let me get the preso first. Um, food convenient. All right. So. Uh, I'm going to just get one precept on this topic and let me go into it right quick because it's really it's a it's a small matter. It's a small matter, but at the same time. It's a big matter, OK, because you have new um, you have new Akium that's coming into the faith. Uh, you have new you have new brothers that's coming into the faith, you know, and um. Uh, you know, they have these type of questions, questions or thoughts, you know, that has to get addressed. All right. Because, you know, um, don't want to lead, you know, uh, the the men that's just coming into this faith, you know, potentially elect members. You don't want to lead them wrong or, you know, so uh, just want to speak on because the question is um, that they struggle with and is that um uh how can i put it like basically um is it okay is it basically is it okay to have a good job um to have a good job or whatever um or to have credit et cetera et cetera and and shit like that <clears throat> And I'm gonna say this, yeah, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong with you having a high-paying job, all right. But you gotta be in a nothing. And nothing's wrong with you having credit. Nothing wrong with you having a good credit score. Nothing's wrong with you building your credit. But you shouldn't. Your mindset shouldn't be like trying to. You shouldn't be trying to prolong your days in the land of your captivity, in the land of your enemy, all right. Your mindset should be like, man, I can't wait for Jacob's trouble. I can't wait for the kingdom of heaven. I look for a new heavens and a new earth. Now, yeah, we do these things because we got to take care of, you got to keep a house over your head. You got to take care of your wife and children, all right, if you have them. And uh, so you 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 got to work. If you don't work, you'll eat, all right? So you got to make um, smart moves with your money and uh, manage your money well, okay? But your mindset shouldn't be that of a heathen or a two-third or non-believer. Non-believers, they think life is going to keep going on for years and years and years, you know. So they making plans. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going uh, I'm, I'm to I'm learn a trade. I'm a, you know, so things that you know that's going to basically take you away from this faith. All right. If your job is just. To the point you have no time for your Habba Shemel Shai at all. You have no time to study. Study, pray fast, read, um, do lessons, and things like that. At a five, you don't, if you, like, you obviously know you got to quit that job. Okay? So we're not, um, you know, we're not in the mindset of, you know, trying to get rich in this society. We're not in that mindset. We're in the mindset of, okay, Jacob's trouble is about to uh, start. You know, uh, we getting ready for the kingdom of heaven. We're mourning. We putting up videos, putting up curses on Babylon, the great America. We praying and fasting that the Lord save us now. We want to be in the kingdom yesterday. All right. So this Proverbs, Proverbs 30 and 8, Proverbs 30 and 8. <clears throat> It say remove, remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. All right. And that's all I'm going to say on that. All right. 
And uh, let me re finish it off. Least, least I be full and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Or least I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain. Yahabash Shah. All right. <clears throat> you know, so for the uh, for the brothers such as myself, you know, that been in for a few a few years, um, we do got to watch. Uh, do got to watch what we say because you don't want a, a newer brother to think he just got to drop everything and, you know, go live in the woods right now <laughs> type shit. So, um, because they still have these questions, whether it's, it's um, hard questions or easy questions, they still have questions at the end of the day. Okay. All right. Because when I first came in the truth, um, like I was willing to just not work or whatever, like to just be solely focused on this truth. You know, sure. I'm like, all right, I'll just stop everything. Whoop, just drop it. You know, and it's, it's not like that. You know, you can't just drop everything. You can't just, you know, it's an old saying, you can't just quit your job. You got to have another job lined up before you quit that job. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, yeah. All right. <clears throat> So just to answer that question, to bring clear, clarity to, you know, the new believers just coming into the faith, you know, Akim and Akwafs, all right? But uh, nevertheless, I want to get on these videos, all right? I got to be quick with it. First, I want to watch this one. Breaking news! These United Nations soldiers were arrested in Namibia after they stole 76 bags of natural gold and 16 bags of uranium. Hey, can you imagine 76 bags of natural gold and 17 bags of uranium? As you can see in the picture, they were arrested. According to report, these United Nations soldiers have been stationed in Namibia for the past nine years. Can you imagine? Who knows how many natural resources they have taken from Namibia in the past nine years. These are their faces. And according to a report, some of them are from Belgium, some are from Netherlands, some are from the United States. They have been stealing Namibia natural resources in the name of UN peacekeeping mission. So this is what these United Nations soldiers do. So they are pathological thieves. Just in case you don't know, uranium is used to power nuclear power plants. These are the nuclear power plants that they are using in Europe to generate electricity, a study electricity for themselves. So the United Nations troops were stealing Namibia uranium, passing it to its embassy in Namibia. They were arrested by the Namibia local security and they are currently go undergoing interrogation. According to some people, they are guilty of stealing over $619 million worth of natural resources from Namibia in the past nine years. Almost a billion dollars. So United Nations soldiers are thieves. Guys, drop your comment respectfully. All right, so Esau, his ass is exposed. All right, Esau, the so-called white man, he's the devil that the Bible speaks of, point blank, period. All right, um, this second, second Thessalonians 2 and 3, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. That man of sin is the so-called white man, and all he does is destroy, 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 and steal, rape, rob, and murder. All right? Just jump down to verse 8. Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians 2 and 8, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All right. Let's get Hebrews 13. Because, um, no, it's 12, 12 and 13. Uh, no, 16, 12 and 16. All right. So this Hebrews, Hebrews 12 and 16, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one mor morsel of meat sold his birthright. All right. This is a wicked man. His spirit is crooked and not up, upright in him. Okay. Um, 
I think this might go two and ten. No, bear with me. All right. Yeah, that's it. This Micah 2, Micah 2 and 2. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. All right. So all Esau, the so-called white man, does is rape, rob and murder and rage war. He's a warlock on the planet Earth. He's evil. OK. And the Lord is coming back to establish righteousness on the planet Earth. And that's going to be through war. OK. So that war in heaven is the Lord and the angels coming back in those UFOs to fight Esau, the so-called white man, and the armies of the earth today. All right. Uh, for the sake of time and for not getting interrupted, all right, um, I'm going to go ahead and end it before I get, because there was like two other videos I wanted to get. But uh, I'm getting a bunch of phone calls and text messages you know, jobs is trying to hire me and all this stuff, <clears throat> and et cetera, et cetera. So I got to deal with some of this. But, um, and also I got to go do some scrap metal work too with my dad. But uh, with that, Lord willing, that was edifying. Want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to the old apostles, great millstone, rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the men of the Lord, bringing out this word in truth, and to the families of the men of the Lord, wish you shalom.